Okay, so here I am with another video of up, of an update with Treylands because it's been tra it's been up it's been updated again. So yeah, since the other video, uh, and I know you've all probably seen everything in this update already, but uh, maybe you haven't. I don't know. The other video of an update uh, on Treylands is probably the most viewed video, and it's probably doing the most most. It's probably doing it's doing better than my video, uh, my other video. So here I am, doing another one. I don't know. See how this goes. Now, obviously, you probably, uh, it's been, it's been a while. I haven't exactly been quick on this. You probably all know everything about this update already, but some of you who aren't on Discord probably don't know about the temporary things on this update. So, if you're not on Discord and you have no, and you haven't, you don't have any idea about, uh, those things, I'm the guy to go to. So, yeah, here we go. So, this uh, update has, like, it has, a, uh, it has, uh, there's new, there's four new ships, there's, uh, customization options, and there's new crafting options. So, uh, I'll start the ships. So, this is the first ship, uh, Corsair. There's the Chimera. There's the Sigil. And there's the Griffin. And I decided to, f for the hell of it, see which one of these new, uh, which, uh, one of these four new ships are the best, and which one are the worst. Just compare, just as a comparison. So the Corsair, out of the four, are, is the cheapest ship, it's the weakest ship with the lowest hit points, it's the fastest ship, it has cargo space, the other three don't, it stores a hundred round shots, and it has eight medium guns, the lowest amount of guns in the, uh, out of the four. You can get the Corsair at level 10. The Chimera is the second cheapest, the second strongest, it has a good medium speed in comparison, no cargo. It has a hundred cannon, uh, it can carry a hundred uh, round shot. It has eight medium guns and two mortars, so that's a total, total of ten guns. You can get the Chimera at level ten. The Sigil is the third cheapest ship, it's the third strongest. It has the slowest speed, it has no cargo, and it can carry a hundred and fifty cannon shots, which, which is the most out of the four. Uh, and it has a total of fourteen guns. You can get the Sigil at level ten. The Griffin is the most expensive and the most strongest ship out of the four. It's slow, it has no cargo, it only carries 100 cannon shots, but it's got 10 heavy guns, two of them mortars. You can get the Griffin at level 12. The Prometheus is back. This is an old ship, apparently. I haven't seen it before, so it's new to me. But if I was to um, compare it with the other four ships, then this ship would be the most expensive. Uh, the second weakest, uh, only to the Corsair, which is the most weakest out of the five. Uh, it's slowest if you just rely on, rely on on sail. It's the fastest if you used steam. It's got the lowest amount of cargo out of the five. Uh, it carries 120 cannon shots, and it's got a total of 16 guns, which makes it the most armed ship out of the five. Now, it didn't say on Discord when what level you need to be to get the ship, but according to the wiki, it used to be a level 10 ship, so I'm going to go with that. Now, according to the Discord, there aren't any plans to bring back the Atlas or the Astarius at this time. Although, it did mention that the Prometheus has had a price increase. So, I went back and compared the prices, and boy, did it. Okay, so now, on to my favourite part of this update, and that's the customization shop options. So, you have to access the customization options for your ships through the Dockmaster. And you just have to press whatever ship you want to uh, customise, and then press that little uh, customise button in the corner. And it should bring you to here. So there's your, there's my ship there. And as you can see, there's four options uh, of customization. There's you can customize the masts, the deck, the cargo hatch, and the details. So if I was to press uh, uh, to change the masts, the color of the masts will change. It used to be ironwood, but now it's oak. Now it's uh, mahogany, elm, ash. Yeah, I really do like this uh, whole customization feature. And yeah, uh, you could do the same with the deck too, although if you notice, the deck costs premium tokens. So that's something to look out for. I really, yeah, it, as you can see, you could just, it gives you a lot more options for customization for your ships. And yeah, this is what the cargo hatch is. Not all ships have cargo hatches, so I've just turned it to iron. If I turn it to cast iron, that's, that's what that looks like. And obviously, as you can see, that costs premium tokens too. Um, yeah, that's so that's pretty cool. 
and there's uh, two now on the details. So I, I pressed oak and it had it's made all these details at the front of the ship and all across the ship in, into that oak fl um, color, as you can see. And yeah, and that costs premium tokens as well. So the only thing that doesn't cost premium tokens is the mast. So that's pretty cool. Even the windows are colored. And uh, yeah, it's really, it's really cool. A really nice update. And if I go inside my ship, all the insides are changed too. So there's all these little details you can customize. This is my favorite part of the update. I don't know, I just, I'll just, yeah. I think more customization would, uh, is, is, is good, in my opinion. Now, not all ships can be customized it's, um, to, to that extent. extent. I, I showed you my camel, and that had all the customization options available. But if I show you my other ships, then you kind of see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I, I can customize my camel. I can't customize my ghostly uh, ship. I can customize um, my maestiff. So yeah, let's just show you. And uh, see, I can only cu customize my mast and my deck. I can't customize the details. Or oh, and what was the third thing? The details and the cargo um, hold thing because it doesn't have any, as I said. So let's go to my next ship, which is my uh, Widgeon. And yeah, again, you can only customize the deck and the mast. And let's go to my Marauder. And yeah, you can customize that, but only the masts. You can't customize the Deccan because it doesn't have any. You can't customize the cargo hold or any details because I, I suppose it just doesn't have any. And my last ship, which is the Starter Sparrow, which everybody starts off with. And no, you can't customize it. And on other news, both the Kestrel and Alliance have had their models updated, and the Alliance specifically has been is now unlocked at level 12 instead of level 10. And the last thing about the ships, the gun crate on the Veteran Sparrow works as an ammo box now, and a bug which caused players to get stuck in some ships when teleporting to them has been fixed. On to crafting now, so five new temporary premium woods have been added to the game, so here's plum wood, here's lemon wood, Here's red oak, blue pine, and finally western green wood. As I said, they're temporary, and they're only available until the 9th of May. And here are the prefixes if you decide to create an item with these woods. The red oak has rustic as the prefix, the blue pine is odd, the yellow, uh, the lemon wood is sour, the western green wood is just western, and the pet purple, the plum, uh, wood is purplish. You can buy them at the premium merchant. And there are other crafting things, um, that, uh, I should show you. I just had to deal with something. Never mind that. New crafting items have been added to, so that you can decorate your house with them. But yeah, it's essentially just, uh, stacks of doubloons, which actually cost doubloons and premium tokens. And the developers said, um, that uh, if you wanted your doubloons back, you, you can. You can trade it back for doubloons, but you'll still lose the premium token. So, yeah, you can just sort of scatter your house with uh, with uh, doubloons, if that's something you wanted. Yeah, you, so there's a stack of doubloons, there's messy doubloons, pile of doubloons, which doesn't seem to have shown. Oh, there we are. Mound of doubloons and mountain of doubloons. And the biggest one costs what? Yeah, a million. Million doubloons. I wonder why this one has a uh, animation. Doesn't mean you could sort of kick it around the house. I don't know. The rest don't have that. Odd. I'll have to find out when I've got my crafting level up uh, high enough. The cost of candles has been reduced now to only um, four wax slash tallow for each type. I, I, I mean, I haven't made candles before, so I assume that's lower. Or perhaps the cost of candles in the carpentry station has also has been lower. I don't know. Before, when you used to craft swivel animation, you'd only get uh, ten, but now you get twenty. And when you craft bolts, you used to get only five rounds, but now you get ten. There has also been the change to the overall cost for uh, uh, round shots. So, you it would have been eight hundred per um, ten round shots from the store, but now it's gone up to a thousand. And the crafting 
four round shot has decreased. It, it, it used to be five iron for five round shots, and now it's been decreased to four iron for ten round shots. So, I guess it's easier to craft, but more expensive if you buy it from the guy, so... Yeah. Another major change to crafting is that the Deccan items seem to be um, a thing of the past now. Yeah, it says here that uh, on Discord that they are no longer craftable and existing Deccan can be used for the next two weeks. So after that, ship recipes requiring Deccan will be removed. Yeah, I think it's going to be changed for the customization options that I showed you earlier in the video. So well, I kind of prefer that, to be honest. It gives you more customization options. Yeah. I, I, I like it. And there are some good news for the people who uh, are, well, own houses. Some ta some taxes for the uh, shack and the Bel Braleskin houses, oh, however you pronounce that, have been reduced. The base level shack is apparently almost free. And also, the fish cargo prices have been increased by 10%, 15% for mackerel, so I guess that's good for fish traders. But the change I want to focus on, because it affects every player, is that the mining rocks can now take three times as much hits before breaking. So uh, these rocks usually sort of, you, 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 might, you hit them about what, three, four, perhaps even five times and they disappear. But now, according to the discords, the, the hit rate has been increased by, by three. So that means that these rocks stay a lot long longer and you can get much more materials out of them, which I mean, that makes getting iron really easy. See? I could just keep on going. I think I've destroyed the rocks on Blackwind, and I usually get about, what, up to 15? Maybe even 20 if I'm lucky? But now I'm getting up to 30. Yeah, it's, it's a really good... Uh, iron has, is now really easy to get. Although that might mean it might decrease in value, but I don't know. I like it. Yeah, so I've just mined all six rocks on Blackwind, and I've managed to get uh, a lot more than I would have usually. And I'm a level uh, 8 miner, so I don't know why I've got so much silver, but yeah, mining is a little bit easier now. The collect uh, collecting resources, I mean, is that's a lot more easier. I like it. I really like this update. So I decided to mine all six rocks again, just to see if I could get any more, just to see how much I could get in one day. And well, I got managed to get 37 iron and even even more silver. I, I don't know why. I, I mean, it's not mentioned that silver's become more common, but it seems to have been. I managed to get 60 iron in one day, mate. That's overpowered. Okay, so there is another update, and it's to do with uh, White Crest. Now let's see if I can show you without getting killed. It's to do with the pizzeria. It's, it's only a small update. I haven't actually been to the pizzeria for a while now. But, um, let's see if I can show you without getting caught. Is it this? No, I forgot where it was. Oh, it's this, isn't it? No? Ah, here we are. Wait, there's no checkered boards? Oh, checkers boards! Wait, can you play checkers now? I, f I was imagining the entire floor, like, uh, a checkered floor. Literally, a checkered floor. But, uh, I read it wrong. Oh, yeah, there we are. Checkered board. So, well, you can actually play. Can you? So if I... Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there we are then, a working board of checkers. Interesting. Yeah, my final thoughts on this update is that it's it's a really good update. I like the customization features, the new ships, the crafting um, items. Yeah, I I think this is the best update I've seen since playing the game. So, well, that's my thoughts, and uh, let me know let me know yours in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching. Fair weather. Bye.